Well, it only took a week from the time that um, President Biden announced his uh, bipartisan commission to look at packing the court or reforming the court that uh, colleagues up here on Capitol Hill have introduced a bill to pack the court. And um, it is a, a blatant political power grab. Uh, obviously, it's uh, something that um, when people look at the Supreme Court, they see it as a revered institution. It's not a political plaything. It's uh, actually an independent branch of our government. And as the leader pointed out, there are even the most liberal members of the Supreme Court have said in recent days that uh, expanding the Supreme Court is a, is a bad idea, that it politicizes uh, an institution that uh, needs to have the confidence and trust of the American people. Uh, even um, President Biden, when he was a member of the United States Senate, characterized it as a bonehead idea. So it's, uh, it's important, I think, for uh, all of us to understand what's at stake here. And, uh, and I, I don't think it's lost on the American people that this is a, a blatant attempt by the Democrats here in Congress to try and um, destroy the integrity uh, of an institution and, and designed to simply to, to acquire power here in Washington. Uh, speaking of bonehead ideas, uh, also today the uh, Democrats have reintroduced the Green New Deal, which in the last session of Congress didn't have any Democrat votes or very few Democrat votes. It was largely a uh, political messaging bill, but now it appears to be the framework for the Democrats' infrastructure bill. And as the leader pointed out, there are Republican votes in support of an infrastructure plan that truly represents infrastructure. And uh, Senator Capito has a, a very clear definition, which I think most people would agree with, on what constitutes infrastructure. Um, but what is being proposed by the Democrats, obviously, is a massive expansion of the government, financed not only with more debt, but with massive tax increases that would harm the economy and jobs and wages, which uh, pre-pandemic were in the best place they've been literally in 50 years. So. Um, it's no surprise, I suppose, that the people who are for the Green New Deal have advised uh, Democrats not to work with Republicans on an infrastructure bill, but there truly is a, a infrastructure bill out there, uh, I think, that uh, would um, that could get both Republicans and Democrats to vote for if, in fact, the Democrats would come to the table negotiating good faith and talk about what truly constitutes infrastructure in this country.